mind game, but let's see if they can execute on it. Sam I am is going to be entering in game number one for Method Orange, and as I said, we don't know Method Orange for that Mage Druid synergy, and I want to see how much they've prepared with it. Yeah, I think they have been practicing quite a bit. I know Sidu and Sam I am before this tournament, they were boot camping together, practicing day in, day out. Nice triple crowd control early on for Method Orange. z taking a huge amount of pressure. Looney with the Relentless is going to be very vulnerable to the Mage Druid crowd control as long as they can find it. Sam I am getting interrupted into the Lightning Lasso. Good pressure for Wild Card Gaming. Good response. z did take a lot Watch of pressure death. early on with the Astral Shift, and he could just easily fall. Big burst here from Method Orange. Great initiation by c getting that Bash Cyclone and then putting Wild Card Gaming on the back foot. Trill keeping up the momentum with huge fists of fury pressure. Looney struggling to deal with this, just getting bullied by Method Orange here in game number one. Sidu moves in for another one, lands the clone, Maro's locked out. z on the run, he's on a three-on-one. Sam I Am gets stunned up, he's not able to follow up with any damage. z back at the pillar with Looney at his side. Sam I Am blinks in, and Method Orange are all offense, but maybe a miscommunication. z getting cycloned when Looney was polymorphed. Sidu trying to compensate, switching that over to Maro, but now z is able to escape. Yeah, z on the run, and that's going to be his main objective in this matchup. Method Orange is going to be looking to put crowd control on Looney. z constantly going to be running behind the pillar, running out of line of sight of Sam I Am, making it very difficult. Sam I Am, basically, he can either get crowd control on Looney or do damage to z -Pi. That leaves z in a favorable position where he's only really taking damage from Trill. That way, Looney's able to easily recover, and they can find these counter-pressure situations like right now. Big swap on Trill. That's going to be his touch of karma, a vital defensive cooldown for a Windwalker Monk to stay alive. And now, without that, Wildcard Gaming have an opening. Trill's going to need to be careful. Sidu, though, he's moving in aggressively, getting a lot of Cyclones. You can tell that Method Orange have been putting in some time on this Mage Restoration Druid, and that's very important for them because I would say their main weakness moving into this final was their lack of diversity. If they can pull in the Mage Druid Synergy and the Melee Cleaves, Method Orange are going to be a big threat, but Trill's overextended. That vulnerable cooldown that they forced earlier. He's manages to hang on with that Fortified Brew. Clutch heal by Seedu. Mana slightly ahead of Wild Card Gaming. And Seedu's going to need to be aware of that, as this is likely to be an extended match when facing such a high caliber team on such a strategically defensive composition. Morrow doing a good job shutting down some of that crowd control. Bash into Cyclone on Seedu. Who is Wildcard Gaming going to be going after? It doesn't look like he can really find a target. Good position here by Method Orange. z is still under fire. Looney with the way of the crane, looking to get really aggressive. Lightning Lasso on Trill. That gets interrupted. Very nice backup by Sam I Am, really denying the amount of damage z has with that Lightning Lasso. Also mitigating some of that control. But Looney has to be a little bit careful with the way of the crane. The good thing about this setup in particular, though, you know, when the Mistweaver Monk normally uses the Way of the Crane, it's a very expensive spell, but it pairs very nicely with the Balance Druid, who has that Innervate, making all of those expensive spells free of charge for a short while. So as long as Wildcard Gaming are pairing those two abilities together, Looney should get huge value from the Way of the Crane. Ooh, Looney gets counterspelled. Let's see what Method Orange can do off the back of that in terms of crowd control. No follow-up just yet. Sidu gets denied into a Cyclone. Now his Trill gets bursted. One second left. Touch of Karma just in time to stay alive. They're not going to force through it just yet. Trill retreating back behind the pillar, recovering with Sidu at his side. Now Sidu moving forward, looking for crowd control. Looney gets paralysis. z and a polymorph. Are they going for a swap? They're switching over to Looney. They're trying to catch him off guard. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do so. Looney transcendence is back behind the portal, but now we see Sidu moves in with a bash. Looney's still in trouble, disrespecting some of the burst here from Method Orange, but manages to hold on to a lot of cooldowns with that positioning. Trill now on the run. Yeah, just a little bit of a misplacement on that ring of peace from Trill, and they might punish him for it. He's getting low. Fortifying Bruise activated, reducing some of the incoming damage. Sidu has to play catch up. Trill should survive, but if Trill had just placed that ring of peace a little bit differently, he could have kept Looney in a position where he really couldn't have gotten away, and that might have been the kill for Method Orange. But that was a nice attempt, forcing Looney very defensive. He still has the Life Cocoon as well as the Relentless. Now a big attempt over onto z -Pi. Method Orange really doing a great job finding offense in this matchup. I'll say it's impressive that Trill can balance both top tier rating, Mythic Plus, Dungeon Invitational, and the Arena World Championship all at the same time. Method Orange with this Windwalker Mage, their setups are looking solid, but it's really mana on the clock. Sidu has managed to find some mana moving for a late game. That's going to be very important as Wildcard Gaming are going to drag this out as long as possible. So let's see if Sidu can keep up 
both this crowd control and mana management to keep his team in the fight as we would say that they're disadvantaged compositionally. Wildcard Gaming were anticipating this and when locking in this balanced street elemental shaman. Stormkeeper, incarnation, comboed together by Wildcard Gaming. This is a big moment for them to burst down a target. Sam I am's in trouble. He's got the temporal shield rolling. It's absorbing all of his damage and it's going to heal it back to full. Perfect time shield by Sam I am now as he looks for a swap on the Looney. Looney ducks recover, rolling across the map. Both these teams keeping each other on their toes. Definitely paralysis over on the CD. That was a nice double leg sweep by Looney to set up that situation. Getting Sam I Am, Trill, and Sidu in crowd control. C uh, Sam I Am actually traded out his trinket there, so the night next Lightning Lasso will sit full, and that's an opportunity for Wildcard Gaming to get aggressive. We're at 3% dampening at this point in the game. Trill sitting on all his defensive cooldowns as once again Wildcard Gaming looking to make an attempt on him. And early on, Sidu was behind on mana, but with the way they're playing it now, Sidu's mana has stabilized. At that orange still in a decent position in this Whoa. matchup. They need to find another attempt. Seems like Looney is their main kill target at this point, but with Trill on the Windwalker Monk and Sidu on the Restoration Druid, they really have to wait for the long cooldown leg sweep to make a swap on Looney. It becomes relatively predictable when they can only go oh. and make an attempt every minute. Sidu's trying to cross midfield to stop Looney from drinking, but he got blasted crossing the field. He's going to have to spend a lot of mana to recover from that. Looking for a Cyclone on Zipai, trying to set up the team for a swap to Looney. Maro needs to save him. Can Maro get in position to start getting some crowd control? He moves in. He's not able to get the Cyclone. Looney realizes he's isolated. He's going to trade a cooldown instead. He cannot rely on his team. Now they can get aggressive though. Trill is in a lightning lasso. Double leg sweep. Perfect crowd control from Wildcard Gaming as they begin to strike back. Sidu now in a cyclone. Sam I am on the run. Trill trying to support with Vivifies. Z Pi closing in on the opposite side. Looney taking this opportunity while Method Orange are under pressure to drink. If Looney can regenerate back to full mana, that's a huge opportunity as Way of the Crane is a big push. It costs a lot of mana though, and now Looney will have access to it moving into dampening. This is trouble time for Method Orange. Yeah, Method Orange, I think they need to go back to the strategy of trying to take down Z Pi. Going after Looney, although it can be fruitful if you can get that huge one-shot attempt. It seems like they had way more control of the matchup when they were on z -Bi. Looney once again trying to cut away. Trill forced to play a little bit defensive in the situation. And the forward to be charging out in the midfield just yet, trading out the touch of Karma onto z -Bi. Method Orange, they're falling a little bit apart in game number one. They had such good aggression and crowd control very early on, finally able to stabilize. But like I said, I really want to see them go back onto z -Bi, try to control Looney, and get, a, uh, get oh. a hold of this matchup. Big damage on Sam I Am with double interrupt secured from Wild Card Gaming. Both teams playing phenomenal defense and offense throughout game number one of series two of the day. BlizzCon champions of both sides, but the reigning oh, champions oh, are oh. on the ropes as Trill gets burnt. He barely stays alive. He's portaled back around the corner on fire. 5% remaining health in Method Orange managed to clamor it back together. Yep, and it looks like CD will be able to keep Trill alive. That was a beautiful transcendence and diffuse magic, but Trill, with the way he has his defensive cooldowns rotating up, is going to have to play relatively scared in this matchup at this point, getting a nice ring of peace, double leg sweep. Here's an attempt on the Looney. Morrow not there to back him up. Can they take him down? Looney with the life cocoon is going to be able to keep himself up just yet. Doesn't look like Sam I Am and Trill really have the follow-up damage, and that's one of the problems with the long cooldown leg sweep. Looney's always going to have that life cocoon available on every single attempt Method Orange has on him. Stormkeeper available for z -Pi. That's going to be a big hit for him should he decide to activate it at any moment and Trill is exposed. He's in midfield, realizing he's overextended. Portaling back behind the pillar, but cedu has got very little mana to recover the team. Solar Beam onto two members. z -Pi's moving in. He's got Stormkeeper. He wants to go after Sam I Am. Sam I Am's in trouble. He's far away from Sidu. He's got Ice Blocks, but he needs to be careful to get it off in time. Ice Barrier absorbs some hits. Gets both Lightning Bolts on that Stormkeeper. Nice kiting from Sam I Am, but Sidu's still locked down in crowd control. Three members in trouble. Swap onto Sidu. How's he going to recover, Ben? I'm not sure at this point, and with this positioning, Wildcard Gaming is certainly favored. Sam I Am still low. Sidu doesn't really have too much left to work with. There's only a little bit of mana left in the tank. Looney getting caught into a paralysis. Sam I Am pushing forward. There's the leg. This, this is the one shot attempt, but Fortifying Brew preemptively used by Looney. Should be able to get that life cocoon off. Fortifying Brew, life cocoon forced out. Ooh. Method Orange still pushing through. Sidu all over him. Is he going to be able to get the cycle? Oh, no. Oh, he gets clothes lined. Sidu in a lot of trouble. He gets clothes lined by Wildcard Gaming right on that big push. It's not enough. Sidu manages to hold on even at 25% dampening. Clinging for life at this point to try and take the blind pick. It's so important to win game number one with both teams at a top caliber position in terms of compositions. z -Pi now gets burst. Looney's retreating back to the line of sight to try and avoid any incoming interrupts, but he's struggling to recover z -Pi. There's limited defense for him. If Sam I Am and Trill can stay on target, Sam I Am gets cloned up at low health by Morrow. 
Morrow carrying the team right now, setting up for huge damage potentially out of that. Solar beaming C2 on a heal. Sam M getting owned. Big lava burst, huge lightning lasso combo gets broken up by the ice block, but an overlap with C2 iron bark and this game is going to be ending shortly and it's still anyone's match yeah, Troll getting a little bit low he does have all his defensive cooldowns z with the Stormkeeper though has huge burst damage available full polymorph on the loony into another a full lag sweep another huge attempt on the loony can they take him down dr bash coming in from c2 can method orange do it loony with the life cocoon should be able to hold on going to the midfield with his thunder focus t able to top himself off quite quickly as well c mm -hmm. mana down to around five percent and at this point, I have to say, Wildcard Gaming have a huge lead. Nice interrupt on that Lightning Lasso Trill on the run. He's got basically nothing. How can they do this? Looney with a double leg sweep. Looney leads the charge. He gets polymorphed away by Sam I Am. Every single player in this match playing out of their minds to try and take game number one. Take that blind pick advantage. Have the comp advantage for the swing match. It's so important to win game number one in series two of the day between North America and Europe. 2019 spring finals in every single player playing insane. z in trouble. Looney gets interrupted. Huge damage from Method Orange. Uh -huh. Then Trill gets reversed on a pre-touch of Karma. The incoming lightning lasso, but he's still so low. Oh, he's in by low as well. Two members on both sides. Potential cross kill here in game number one. There's touch of death available for Method Orange. If they can find the damage, that was a beautiful counter spell by Samayam setting up his team. z was in a lot of trouble, but finally able to recover. Method Orange, Samayam low. He wants to push in. They just need one nice crowd control chain on Looney with that touch of death. And z could easily fall. I think Wildcard Gaming realizing the situation, z is trying to get out of midfield, trying to cross the map, but Method Orange and Hopper pursuit let's see what they can do sam i am getting lightning lasso he trickets out he goes for the polymer he goes for the all-in to take out z pi z pi already on the run morrow with support drill bashed away sam i am now exposed he's trying to get on target but he just can't find him z pi is too slippery and he's avoiding all of this pressure looney though still in crowd control c2 gets the cyclone z pi's in midfield sam i am can cast he's trying to get back to the pillar but looney's left behind maybe they swap to looney out of the cyclones not gonna be going for it sam i am now gets cloned up desperately to stall morrow doing everything in his power but c2 has the mana lead he's perfect Perfectly managed his mana both aggressively and defensively, but Trill's in trouble. Double stunned up. z -Pi gets cloned. c trying to save the day, but then Trill equally getting cloned at low health. It's coming down to the wire. There's almost no mana left on either side. Yes, c was able to recover some of his mana, though, and Trill in nine seconds is going to have the defensive cooldowns he needs to really make a push, that final push onto Wildcard Gaming, but z -Pi has the astral shift rotating back up. What is Wildcard Gaming going to do? Sam I am getting a little bit low, only having the one ice block. This is the touch of death all in for Method Orange. Full polymorph secured on Looney. z on the run. Life Cocoon connects, and I think z is going to survive. Sam, in the meantime, caught a lightning lasso, forced into his second ice block. That's both ice blocks out of the way, and you're not going to see another one in game number one. It's do or die for Method Orange at this point, but equally so for Wildcard Gaming. It's actually still anyone's match. If z even makes one slip up and is not able to avoid an attack, he will get blasted by Method Orange, but both the same could be said for Trill. How is Sidu gonna do it? He's got zero mana left. Looney, is he sitting down for a drink? Sidu, this is it, he's moving across the map. How much crowd control can he get for the team? He needs to nail it. They might go for a swap. Looney gets paralysis into the bash. He decides to trinket it. Now he could be exposed for crowd control as Z-Pi is getting just destroyed at oh! this moment in time. Method Orange, they're clattering it together. Sidu gets the Cyclone, potentially the game-winning Cyclone on Looney. Maro gets denied on his peels. Perfect teamer, but now Sam yeah! gets blasted. Z-Pi gets the reverse kill. It's just it's absolutely unbelievable as Sam I am holds on in desperation, managing to cling to life, but Z Pi is stabilized at higher health, and Cedar's got nothing left. Yeah, Sam I am still low, just one hit away from falling. How is Cedar keeping him alive? Morrow pushes in. Final nail in the coffin, and Wild Card Gaming claims number one sit. I blinked it. And when we were asking players who the best monk was, usually it was always Chun Li and Trill who were in the conversation. This time, it was Chun Li and Zach who were actually in the conversation. Trill delivers in the first game, and we're going to be keeping our eyes on him here again. Wild Card Gaming leads by one. All right, Method Orange set themselves up well here on Tolveron Arena. So the main disadvantage they had in the Grand was that it's a smaller map, and Sidu wasn't able to drink as frequently and have mana later into the fight. But now they've set themselves up on Tolveron Arena, although the damage is in favor of Wildcard Gaming early on. Big burst moment. Sam Am Shadow Melds, the incoming Gladiator's Maledict, dispelled on the second, but there's a third incoming, and the first ice block will be forced by Wildcard Gaming. Bit of a disaster here for Method Orange, not able to get that, that initial crowd control that we saw in game number one. Sam I am forced into an early ice block. If he gets that cold snap cooldown rolling early on, I think 
we it's likely we see three ice walks in this match because the last game did go up to 48 percent dampening but like i kind of mentioned i kind of blinked and we got there i think really at any moment this game could end method orange i think their best attempt here is on to zipa oh. they can get good crowd control but sam i am and the lightning lasso once again could be in some trouble full leg sweep on a sea and wildcard gaming they have so much crowd control on sea early on method orange is basically forced to play defensive wildcard gaming are setting up for kills early on which we do not normally expect from this composition the balance druid and the elemental shaman usually focus on cyclones healing surges disruption and stalling the game but in this particular matchup they are also looking for setups and burst opportunities and potentially catching method orange off guard at times and forcing major defensive cooldowns such as the ice block sam i will only have one of those for another five minutes cdu gets bashed where are wildcard gaming trying to go it looks like they're trying to go after cdu bit of a swap over onto him trills out of the game in a cyclone but cdu is able to duck around the corner perfect positioning on his part not getting caught over extended cyclone in z pie so he is safe to move to midfield and potentially switch the cyclone over now cycloning up morrow curious to see if he can move over to Looney. Jumping now on top of Looney for a leg sweep swap, but he got the fortified brew off right before the stun. A bit of a mistake and a blunder on Method Orange's part, and that allows Looney to easily survive. Yeah, Looney is able to survive, and like I kind of mentioned in the last match, it is really difficult to take down a Mistweaver as his composition for multiple reasons. The first reason is, first of all, Looney, he's playing human, so he has the every man for himself to break out a stun. He's also playing relentless, so all of the stuns are going to be reduced on him, but also with that live cocoon, with the fortifying brew he always has an answer for when trill and c have their stuns available and the only way method orange is really going to take him down is overwhelming amounts of burst damage i think they have to get looney in a stun Ooh. when he's already a little bit low but wildcard gaming with a huge attempt on a sea dude could be in some trouble activating the bar skin as well as the shadow nice. meld shadow melding two incoming maledicts from wildcard gaming great plays yep looney now counterspelled and zpi the target it's three on one and he's in midfield that's perfect for method orange but c tried to jump in for cockadol got clotheslined by morrow he has to trinket but they go for it anyway it's do or die to kill z pie morrow is the playmaker here for wildcard gaming with beautiful cyclones on Ooh, sam nice. am denying the kill long enough for looney to connect the life cocoon but now c do cycloning that at low health z pie is starting to stabilize and now counter aggress on the sam i am big hits temporal shield lined up though soaks up all that damage and will likely heal him back to full both teams so evenly matched here in game number two Definitely. Looney still with a little bit of an edge in terms of mana. We can start seeing more setups coming in for Method Orange. That last one was nice, but they really didn't get too many defensive cooldowns. The Astral Shift will be forced out by z by but only has a minute and a half cooldown. So in 53 seconds, that's going to be available once again. Trill, excellently done using his Touch of Karma on the Bash from Morrow, and that will keep him alive and basically not force out too much mana from Sidu. Preemptive plays coming in from both teams, just trying to avoid as much damage as possible, trying to conserve their mana bars, and we've been seeing that from a lot of the teams in this tournament. Instead of just overhealing, just spamming out as much mana as you can, they've been very precise in avoiding damage so they can extend their mana bar for longer on in the game. Big hit on Sam I am. Sidu's in crowd control. This could be the second Ice Block already. Still two minutes away from a third one, potentially. We do see Iron Bark just in time. Sam I am stabilizes at 50% as they look to attack Looney. Big hits, Life Cocoon. That actually gets shredded quite rapidly by Method Orange, but Looney recovers. Trill now in a Cyclone. Sam I am still the target, but Sidu at his side. Connecting some big regrowths and starting to stabilize. At any moment, these Star Surges and a big Earth Shock could close this game out for Wildcard uh -oh. to take it. Z Trill gets blasted, Cyclone to low health. Cedar trying to time some heals out of the Cyclone. Trill still moving forward aggressively. Way of the Crane gets activated. Looney wants to get a kill for his team with that cooldown. It's going to add a huge amount of damage to the team. They lock out Sidu. Two members potentially in trouble. Sam I am getting swapped to as well. Three members in trouble. Sidu paralysis. Trill to target. Diffuse magic on the Glider's Maldic, but there are multiple incoming. Lightning Lasso pins Trill down, but with Iron Bark activated, he's going to more than likely to survive. They now switch targets, and Wildcard Gaming are all over the place. Yep, Lightning Lasso on Trill, forcing out the Iron Bark. Immediately Cyclone on Trill and damage on Sam I am. That it forces Sidu to heal multiple targets and not get full value out of that Iron Bark in this matchup. We are now at 2% dampening in terms of mana. Sidu a little bit behind, but he was able to hold on to his mana bar for quite a while in that last game. Morrow now looking for a bash paralysis onto Looney. Good crowd control here from Method Orange. Who are they going after? Once again, onto Looney. Can they take him down? Oh! DR bash! A lot of incoming burst damage, but Looney, all he needs is one global, one ability, the life cocoon, to keep himself alive. And that's my only problem with these swaps coming 
coming in from Method Orange. They get a lot of pressure, a lot of damage, but Looney just immediately negates everything they do with just one button, portaling behind the pillar, and able to stabilize completely. Every single member in this match playing out of their minds. Game two of series two of the day between North America and Europe at the Spring Finals of 2019. Wildcard Gaming leading this series 1-0, but that last game was so close. It could have easily gone in favor of Method Orange, so we cannot count them out just yet. I could see this going to a game number five if you are just tuning in. You do not want to go anywhere. Looney managing to regenerate back to full mana. That's a big play on his part, so he'll be able to access that way of the crane more frequently and more often. Sam, I am on the run. Trill gets left behind. He's bashed in midfield. Big damage follows up out of it. Transcendence back out of line of sight, but Sidu not able to get to him just yet. Connects some heals finally. Sam, I am now in trouble looking for polymorphs. Looney pre-rolls away. Expected a swap onto himself, so activated that fortified elixir, but they didn't actually switch, so now that preemptive play is an opening for Method Orange. Curious to see if Sidu can move across the map and initiate it for the team. He is in midfield currently, and Sam I am with him as well. Looney gets caught, but Sam I am's in trouble. Sidu needs to juggle both defense and offense perfectly. Sam I am cycloned at low health on the swap onto Looney. Perfect timing by Maro. Great support on his part with the utility of that balance druid, and now equally so with burst damage as Sam I am. Shadow Meld 2 Gladiators Maledicts for one Shadow Meld. Perfect exchange and mistakes made by Wildcard Gaming. Yeah, definitely well done by Sam I am, but once again, Method Orange Force really defensive, and that's not what you want when you are the control composition. Bash on to Sea Good attempt here from Wildcard Gaming, but Zipai getting low. Trill on a solo mission, putting out huge damage on that Windwalker, forcing out the Astral Shift, and now this is definitely a vulnerable situation for Wildcard. Oh! Can't land anything. Sam I am in the meantime. Does have the ice block, doesn't want to throw away the game behind the pillar. Gladiator's safeguard is enough of a safety net to allow Sidu to get some healing out. But Trill in the meantime, also getting swapped to. Wildcard Gaming is all over the place. Trill gets Cyclone on that touch of Karma, still vulnerable. Now back on Sam I am, really keeping Sidu guessing. Morrow is playing great on this balanced druid. And Wildcard Gaming oh! overall, huge damage. Ice block at very low health. Messed Orange cannot afford to lose here. They'll be put on match point. 2-0 for Europe in this series, if that's the case. How much longer can Sidu keep it up? His mana is falling behind to that of Looney. The cooldowns are starting to be spread thin. Sidu gets swapped to. That's going to be a Gladiator's Medallion. Sidu tries to lead the charge for the team. A bash. Where's the Cyclone? He's not able to get it. Gets denied. He's now in a Cyclone. Trill on the run. He's in trouble. Almost completely alone. Still more Cyclones to follow up on Sidu. How is Trill going to escape? It doesn't look like he even wants to. He's reluctant. Decide to retreat now, able to avoid some pressure. Looney, he's moving in right on top of Method Orange, even as the healer, trying to make sure he can secure some crowd control for the team as dampening continues to mount. Yeah, this is the bit of a disaster for Sam I am. In that last exchange, he actually got interrupted on a Frostbolt when they bursted him down, so he was forced to use his Cold Snap, meaning he traded out both of his Ice Blocks on that last attempt from Wildcard Gaming. Now Method Orange is going to be increasingly vulnerable because of that. Sam I am really going to have to think twice before pushing in. Another attempt here on to leave it once again, mitigated by the Life Cocoon. Although now, that's not available for Zipai, so if they can get the Life Cocoon out of the way by the swaps on Looney, potentially they could take down Zipai a little bit later on. Lightning Lasso on to Sidu, but Good backup by Trill interrupting that quite quickly. And Sidu does manage to survive. I don't know. Momentum is starting to go in favor of Wildcard Gaming with two members low on health. Method Orange are trying to pull themselves back together here for another attack towards Zipai. Trill really carrying the damage right now and the crowd control, but he's overextended. Realizing that, he activates Touch of Karma to go in for the kill. Doesn't decide to do so. Sidu's trying to set up a drink. Samayam blinks back to avoid damage. The Starfall whiffs. Sidu is in stealth. If he can regenerate back to full mana, Trill, though, is still exposed. Fuse magic on such low health, but Sidu managed to do it. He's got a full mana bar for Method Orange and the team. He just needs to recover. Trill has to hold on a little bit longer. He's still low. Sidu, he needs to start connecting some heals, but he's just caught in crowd control. Beautiful CC from Maro. Hex now. Sam I am dispels it off. It looks like Method Orange might be able to recover, but Sam I am still vulnerable. Gladiator safeguard once again. Last line of defense for Method Orange. Sidu with a full tank of mana. If he can recover here, this is going to be great for oh. Method Orange, but Wildcard Gaming really trying to punch that drink. Look at this damage from Wildcard Gaming. Two members have been at sub 50% health for a minute straight at this point. Sidu to manage to regenerate mana, but he's having such a hard time getting his team back to full health for a push. It's taking so long, they decide to go for it. It's do or die. Looney gets crowd control.
controlled. Who's the target? Morrow sees it coming. He's in bear form right before the attack, but they don't even seem to care. They're trying to cut through that. They are managing to do so at 33% damage, but Sam I have spent too long in midfield. z is tearing into him. They left z open for five seconds, and he is going to close this out. 2-0 for Wildcard Gaming. So against the wall, it's 2-0. If they lose this, they're going down to the lower bracket early on, and that is going to be a shark-infested lower bracket with ABC already down there. c Mez Trill, what can they do? It's down around series. They've set themselves up strategically on the map choice and the composition. Can Trill nail enough mana rifts to burn Looney's mana out and find them victory with pressure is the question. Can Mez perform on the stage here the first time we're going to see him? Yeah, we'll definitely wait to see. Full asphyxiate stun onto Looney. Are they able to get a mana rift? Unfortunately, not able to find it. Trill playing the death or from the rain from above, sorry to get that extra damage out oh. Demon Hunter, but he's oh. still a lightning lasso. Good fall very early on. He trinkets. Still what? a lot of trouble. Darkness gets dropped out as well as Metamorphosis, as well as Anti-Magic Zone. Sidhu caught into a full cyclone. Trill all alone. Wildcard Gaming looking to close out. Excuse me? Instantaneously. And they will claim this series. Feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.